While everyone else was fast asleep, I was rereading the exchange diary. Oh yes, it's been a while. Aw, the eyes are looking a little better. Everybody? Why everybody? <laughs> oh, everybody is... Wait, how do you know there's more than one person reading this diary? Good evening, everybody. On second thought, that's a bit cringe, isn't it? I must apologize for keeping my amnesia from you all this time. I wasn't sure whether to tell you, and now you found out in the worst possible way. Really sorry. Honestly, I should have told you right from the day we met. If you ever get sick of me, let me know and I'll clear off, I promise. Of course, I write this knowing you're far too kind to ever say such a thing. I'm a coward, I know. As for the kiss last night, I swear I wasn't planning it. I should have taken your feelings into account. I'm really sorry for hurting you. Honestly, I didn't know you'd react so strongly. This may make me sound like an ass, but you're normally so self-confident that it's quite adorable to see you blush. I always loved you right from the start. But now I love you even more. I'm hopeless, aren't I? Being with you is so much fun, I can't help but start to get greedy. If I ever do something to upset you again, please let me know. You're the only one who can keep me in check. Oh. Yeah, he's got abandonment issues for good reason. We gotta convince him we're, we're with him for the long haul. <laughs> Once I finished reading the latest entry, I set about writing my reply beneath the dim glow of the lamp. Time for bed. After I finished writing my letter, I closed the notebook and soon fell fast asleep. Alright. Well, let's see. That night I had a dream. Oh. I haven't seen him in his outfit in a while. Can I get a closer look at this? Dream of him looking at the moon, mayhap? Kaguya? Kaguya was standing out in the yard, looking up at the sky. There I could see a crescent moon gleaming brightly. His face and profile was shrouded in melancholy, and it made me sad just looking at him. Why do you look so sad? Is there something on your mind? You know you can talk to me. Nothing on my mind as such. I'm just feeling a bit lonely. Does the moon remind you of something? Maybe it does. He smiled faintly. If the moon makes you feel bad, then stop looking at it. Easier said than done. Don't you want me to get my memories back? Well, yeah, but... Unable to stand his probing gaze, I looked away. His voice was quiet like a rippling lake. The truth is, Puppet, I remembered something. Huh? I'm not from this land. I'm a moon dweller. I came to this world to keep a promise I made in a previous life. But I have to go home soon. And on the 15th of this month, they'll send for me. This is farewell, puppet. Hmm. Kaguya! I awoke, shouting out loud. Then I fumbled in the darkness for the clock by my pillow. The hour hand had just ticked past four. <sighs> At least I hadn't overslept like yesterday. While I could afford to go back to bed, I didn't really feel like it, so instead I decided to get up. So is that a memory, or is that... More, more than a dream. Mm. 15th of the month. Phew. I tied my messy bed head in a ponytail and pinned my bangs back with a headband. Then I headed to the bathroom to wash my face. Oh. Oh! Without thinking, I shut the door in his face. Ayah! God, I 
I'm an idiot. What am I doing? What do I care if he sees my hair like this? He's already seen what I look like unconscious. As a compromise, I took the headband off and brushed my bangs out. Good morning! I called out cheerfully with one hand, pressing my bangs flat. Morning, Poppet. I'm on duty today, you know. You could go back to bed. I would, but I had this weird dream and now I'm wide awake. What sort of dream? A dream about you. Me? Tilting his head, he pointed at himself for confirmation. This guy? Will you tell him about your dream? Mm. Um. In case that was a memory of something he's told us before, I don't want to force him to remember something. He has to kind of... Man, I'm... <laughs> I kind of sound like, um... Karasuba and... <laughs> Manshiro and Yamato. I sometimes better not remember these things. <laughs> Do I really want to be like them? In this context, yes. Oh, this is quite the invention. I had a dream that you were Super Kaku Bear, protecting the Earth from aliens like it was some kind of sci-fi action movie. Oh, yeah, sounds rough. I know, right? <laughs> I laughed breezily. The reason I lied was to avoid sounding clingy. Sorry to have this silly conversation with you first thing in the morning. No problem. He ruffled my hair. Just then, his face lit up like he'd remembered something. I've got an idea. Since it's my fault you had such a stressful dream, I'd better make it up to you. Huh? He took me by the hand and led me back into my room. No, sit right here. Uh, why? As I lowered myself onto the bed, I tilted my head in confusion. How was he going to make it up to me in here? <laughs> Considering how well um, the R-rated attempt was last night, uh, maybe we should opt for a massage. Quotation marks, massage <laughs> instead. Oh, are you going to give me another massage? I thought back to the day we first met. Mm. I mean, I could do that instead if you'd prefer. But I was thinking I'd brush your hair for you. Aw, once a butler, always a butler. Oh, please do! The comb and ribbon are on my vanity. I turned my back to him. <laughs> Can't promise I won't be total rubbish at it. I don't mind. I didn't care how frizzy or wacky he made it look. I wasn't about to let this opportunity pass me by. Right then. Kaguya grabbed the comb and ribbon from atop the vanity, then sat down next to me. I haven't had someone comb my hair in ages. Hmm. Thinking. Pulpit! Pulpit! Yes? He patted me on the shoulder, and I turned to find him holding his arms out. You'll go numb sitting in that position. Come sit on my lap. Praise the Lord and a hallelujah! Okay, then. I scooted myself over onto his lap. As I rested my full weight on him, the bed creaked. There we are. <laughs> as, I sp as he spoke, his breath tickled my scalp. With him holding me from behind, I could feel his warmth against my back. Oh god. This, uh... This sure is something. <clears throat> Pulpit. Yes! He startled me right as I was panicking internally, causing me to yelp even louder. Would you like braids, then? He grinned without commenting on my overreaction. Yes, please. My voice was barely a whisper. In the hours before sunrise, the silence was a bit different from the quiet of night. Not to mention it was early winter. The chilly air only served to enhance the tranquility of the moment. You have such beautiful hair, Poppet. 
Kaguya slowly worked the comb through my long locks. I'm glad to hear it, because believe it or not, I put a lot of work into it. Maybe not today, but most days at least. Is your hair naturally this poofy? It is indeed. Incredible. I reckon you must have looked like a little doll when you were small. Yeah. Growing up, I never quite knew what to say in response to that. The doll comparison. Yeah. I mean, my appearance is sort of unique, you know? My hair. My eyes. Oh. Right, yeah. Is your eye color natural as well? It is. But I always hated my appearance. People used to tease me mercilessly. What for? You're adorable. Children can be really cruel. They have trouble accepting people who are different. But one day, I thought to myself, I'm only ever going to be me, so I may as well love myself. Instead of hating my weird traits, I'll lean into them instead. I'll love and accept myself no matter what. The things that make me weird also make me special. My eyes aren't creepy. They're radiant like gems. And ever since then, I've considered my appearance to be one of my best qualities. You haven't changed much, have you, Poppet? How would you know that if you only just met me? Oh, it's my intuition talking, that's all. Personally, I quite fancy your gemstone eyes and soft, fluffy hair. It's what makes you, you. There. All done. He placed a hand on each of my shoulders. Huh? Already? By the time I finished my little anecdote, he had somehow finished braiding my hair. I reached back, and sure enough, I could feel two perfect, neat little braids. Which meant I now needed to address the current situation. Shall we sit like this for a smidge longer? He peered at me over my shoulder, and I felt my face flush. Yes, please. Right, then. He wrapped his arms around me and held me from behind. Oh, but what about breakfast? Not to worry. We still have plenty of time. Okay, then. <laughs> well, this sure is embarrassing. A bit, yeah. I can only imagine the train wreck that would ensue if Cinderella were to walk in right now. Frankly, if it wasn't for Kaguya reminding me about the Cinderella situation, I would have forgotten about him entirely. Sorry, Cinderella. Guess we broke his rules again, didn't we? <laughs> well, Cinderella's not a morning person, so we're probably fine. This is true. Probably. Kaguya buried his face against my shoulder blade. Sleepy? Mm, not really. I reckon I'm just really enjoying this moment. I feel secure, somehow. Hm. Questions rose to my mind. What was he worried about? What made him feel more secure? But I didn't voice them aloud. Instead, I was simply willing to stay like this for as long as he needed me to. So wholesome! My heart. Oh, that reminds me. Yes? As I was brewing our post-breakfast coffee, Cinderella spoke suddenly. I was talking to Snow about you two last night. About me and Kaguya? Instantly I froze. Did he find out about our secret tryst? I heard you got amnesia. Oh, that. Right. Of course. Did my puppet tell you? Kaguya shifted his gaze to me. Should I have kept it to myself? Cinderella has a lot of connections in this town, so I figured he'd be an asset to the search. Oh, I see. Seriously? You should have told me sooner, man! I had the total wrong idea about you! Sorry, mate. Kaguya hung his head guiltily. That said, I didn't think he needed to apologize at all. So, I hear you're looking for your exes so you can learn about your past. Yeah. Why waste time looking for them when you can make them come to you? Huh? 
Kaguya and I exchanged a look. You want to get a bunch of chicks in a room together? Then let's throw a party. Where would we hold it? Right here. Cinderella tapped the table. Cinderella! I clasped his hand in mine. Oh, Cinderella, you're the best! You're so kind and smart and wonderful! Y yeah I know. Glad to see you've noticed. Took you long enough. It was my idea, though. You had the idea for a party, Snow White? Ooh, unexpected. I promptly pivoted to Snow White. You're so handsome and wonderful. Thank you so much, Snow White. I had a feeling you were behind it. No problem. Wait, but how do you reckon we'll pay for it? I raised my hand to volunteer. I volunteer! I'll pay! But Cinderella grabbed my wrist and lowered my hand back down. I'll pay. Consider it a token of apology for, you know, punching you that one time. Oh, I'm not bothered, really. Yeah, well, I am. Look, man, if you don't want to do this, then just say so flat out. That's not it. I just feel awful making you go to such lengths on my behalf. Especially when you're already letting me stay here. Oh, don't worry about it. My brother loves to throw crazy parties. He's not doing it for you. He's doing it for himself. Yep, that's our Cinder- Ouch! Hmm. <laughs> I tried to chime in, and Cinderella rewarded me with a smack to the head. Oh sure, you'll hit me, but not him? This is discrimination! I rubbed the sore spot. I can make the food myself, so we'll save money on catering. All we need to decide is the time frame and the party size. I looked from Cinderella to Snow White. Likewise, they exchanged a glance. Well, as they say, go big or go home. Tomorrow it is, he answered with a flawless smile. That's our Cinderella. <laughs> he really hasn't changed at all. After that, we worked from morning until night getting the party arranged. Naturally, we had to run the cafe, too. Busy was an understatement. In between mountains of party prep, we served our customers, and once the cafe was finally closed... We started juggling our tasks with household chores instead. The next thing I knew, I was standing outside, staring up at the moon with a trash bag in hand. Looking at the moon. Huh? Good evening, Miss Waitress. Why do I have a feeling the regular is the wizard? The next thing I knew, a regular from the cafe was standing right in front of me. Uh, oh, hey there. I hastily snapped to my senses. Looked like you were glaring at the moon. What's wrong? <laughs> I laughed vaguely and pressed a hand to my forehead. After the dream I had last night, you could say I had a slight grudge against the moon. What about you? What are you doing here? Would it be creepy if I said I was waiting for you? For me? Yeah. He averted his gaze awkwardly. No, it's not creepy. I'm flattered. It was my honest opinion of his affection for me. Oh, I see. I'm glad. I'm glad too. You were really busy today, huh? Yeah. We're throwing a party tomorrow here at the cafe and anyone's free to attend. Would you want to come? A party, huh? I'd love to, but I'm gonna be kind of busy tomorrow. Oh, okay. That sucks. You've been busy a lot lately, haven't you? As I recall, the last time we met was when I went to the fish market with Kaguya. Yeah, but whenever I see your smile, my fatigue just melts away. I've been coming by every week, ordering the same thing every time. That way you'd remember me. Say, um... But before he could continue... Pulpit! A voice called for me, interrupting him. Kaguya? What's the matter? 
Isn't it obvious? You said you were going to put the rubbish out ages ago. I got worried and came to look for you. Kaguya snatched the trash bag out of my hand, then turned to the other man. Did you need something from her? If it's about the cafe, I can handle it. <laughs> Sorry. I'll come back some other time. Oh, okay. Smiling weakly, the man walked away. Shall we put the rubbish out together? Okay. He started walking and I followed after him. A long moment of silence passed. There was no chance in hell that Kaguya hadn't put two and two together by now. He must have realized that man's feelings for me and what he was about to say to me. And now... Say, pulpit. Yes, Kaguya? He came to a stop and I followed suit. Meanwhile, the moon shone down on us, same as it had the night before. And like always, Kaguya was smiling. But this smile wasn't quite the same as usual. His eyes glittered. If I said I wanted to kiss you, would you be upset with me? Why would I be upset? So you're saying it's all right, then? Whoa! The next moment, he put his hands on my shoulders and pressed his lips to mine. Wow, that was fast. Mm. Mm. Um... Hmm. F where did this escalation come from? Something wriggled its way into my mouth. I didn't understand what was happening, but I let it happen anyway. Suffocated, I pushed back against his chest to try to get some air, but he grabbed my hand. Pop it. Kaguya! I can't breathe! <clears throat> he devoured me again and again until I could scarcely stand. Ha! <sighs> the moment I could finally breathe, my knees gave out and I collapsed on the spot. Wow, game, I can't believe you robbed me of two kiss CGs in a row. My first kiss wasn't some innocent tongue kiss. It was raw and hungry. You all right? Y yeah. I'm okay. He helped me to my feet. Don't know what happened just now. I didn't mean to do that. Shall we head back? He smiled softly. Uh, okay. My legs were unsteady, but I could still walk for the most part, so I took a step. First things first. Forgive me for this pulpit. Huh? Whoa! The next instant, he scooped me up into his arms. Bridal style? Seeing as I made you go all weak in the knees, I may as well make it up to you, yeah? Y yeah but... You don't have to carry me bridal style! My weakness! If you show me a CG, I'll forgive the wiggling of the tongue. Shall I stop? With his handsome face so close to mine, my heart fluttered in my chest. Especially considering what just happened a moment ago. No, it's okay. I could feel my entire face burning right down to my collarbone. Right, then. Put your arms around my neck and hold on tight. Okay. Once I got a good grip on him, he started walking slowly. Nice to get a good close look at your pretty face. You sure it's not ugly? It's adorable. Ugh. Kill me now. I'm sorry, Puppet. Sorry for what? For putting you through all that. Well, explain to me... What? Was it just jealousy? And you're like, just so you know, you belong to me. Shmooch, watch, 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 watch. Like, that was pretty intense, bro. Uh, oh, no, it's fine. Given our relationship, it was bound to happen sooner or later. It just happened a little sooner than I was expecting, that's all. 
You've had to work all day long to make this party happen. Oh, that's what you meant. Hmm. Uh, nothing! I'm sure you must be dead tired. You've been working just as many hours as I have. No, I'm alright. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Compared to you, I've gotten it easy. Liar. I'm not, really. Besides, I'm a big, strong man. We've got more stamina, you know. Don't make it a gender thing. How am I supposed to argue with that? You can't. <laughs> Scowling, I pouted my lips in a show of disapproval. When we get back, I want you to rest. I'll handle everything else. No can do, mister. Lest you forget, you're the VIP of tomorrow's party. I am. Darn right. And we need you well rested so you'll look your best. Right, but I can't trouble you any more than I already... Kaguya, like I told you, I'm trying to make you fall head over heels for me. If I stop now, that'll never happen. It's already happened, as far as I'm concerned. Then I want more. You're greedier than you let on, aren't you? Maybe so. I turned away. Then I reckon I'd better put some effort in for your sake as well. Such as? Let's see. When we get back to the cafe, what say I make you a cuppa? Perfect! I'd love a cup of tea. Right then, it's settled. Oh, Kaguya? I admired him as though he were the moon hanging above us. Hmm. Wearing his same old smile, he waited for me to continue. Let's give it everything we've got at tomorrow's party, okay? Right. <laughs> what a cute little... The bunnies are getting cuter! <laughs> hmm. He's got a thing with... Sm his smooches are, like... Suddenly out of the blue, and... Phew. Hmm. I don't know what to make of it yet. Hello, Poppet. It's me, Mr. Rabbit. It's been a week now since I moved in. Which means it's been a week since we started dating. These days I've adjusted to life here, and writing in this diary has become a habit. Although we spend most of the day together, we don't get much time to talk when we're on the clock. Good thing we can make up for it here. You're energetic and cheerful and you always give it your very best. I have so much love and respect for you, but at the same time, I worry you might be working yourself too hard. I'm not as skilled as you, so I might not be of much use, but just say the word and I'll do anything you need. Anything at all. Don't be shy. I'd love nothing more than to help you in any way I can. So it's been a week, so we've got three more weeks. I feel like it's been such a long time. I'm surprised it's only been a week. <laughs> and so the night of the party rolled around. Some people played the piano, some people sang, some chatted with others nearby, and some were even dancing. Welcome to the cafe! It's not much to look at, but I hope you'll have fun. Tonight, everything's on me! Cinderella's voice echoed across the room, followed by cheers. As for myself. Excuse me, can we get some drinks? Sure thing, just a moment. Hi! Um, I heard you were having a party? We sure are. Come on in, ladies get in free. Well, as you can see, I was super busy with bussing tables and other waitress work. I was constantly running in and out of the kitchen, so I didn't exactly have time to look for any ex-girlfriends. Still, the venue was overflowing with young ladies to an absurd degree. Evidently, Cinderella had pulled some strings with as many connections. <laughs> you mean he paid a bunch of people to show up? What connections, you ask? No clue. Either way, I was extremely grateful. All hail Cinderella! As for Cinderella himself, 
He was already drunk, sipping wine, and hitting on women, as he usually does. Ooh, look at those lipstick marks all over his cheeks. I'm happy for you, buddy. Just please don't pass out. <laughs> Cinderella living his best life. Anyway, while Cinderella was entertaining the ladies, we had Snow White cover the kitchen. Meanwhile, what of the party's VIP guest? Kaga Bear! Open wide! <laughs> no, no, I can't. Our dear Kagu Bear was surrounded by fangirls. I stopped and stared at them for a moment until he noticed me looking and smiled awkwardly. Mm. I bit back my resentment and tried not to think about how badly I wanted to be over there feeding my boyfriend instead of them. Deep breaths, Eureka. Shaking my less than kind thoughts away, I went back to work. The entire purpose of this party was to ferret out Kaguya's exes. Even if Cinderella was the host, Kaguya was the true VIP. To that end, I needed to take a supporting role to keep all the gears turning. And so, glancing at the giddy girls out of the corner of my eye, I cleared away a large pile of plates. Okay then, you feed me! Abruptly, I spun around in the opposite direction. On second thought, our objective was to find Kaguya's exes, not add new entries to his list of admirers. Phew, that was close. Almost took my eyes off the prize for a minute there. Oh. Oh. Just then, I caught sight of a familiar face. I know her. She's the haughty lady who dumped Kaguya at the cafe. Ah! Then I heard another voice behind me. It was the girl we bumped into at the shopping district. If Kaguya was the flame, then they were the moths. We all froze on the spot to process the situation. But then voices called out from the crowd. Kagiya, there you are! Coggy pie! Oh dear, looks like we've got a full house in here. Welp. Okay, so just to confirm, all of you have dated Kagiya at some point in the past, correct? Once the party came to an end, the interrogation began. Excellent. This was our big chance to rediscover Kagiya's past. And yet, now they're ex-girlfriend. Coggy pie, coggy pie. Hey, will you get off him? He's my boyfriend. And another thing, you don't seriously call him coggy pie, do you? Barf! Excuse me, are you delusional? Kagia is my boyfriend, not yours. Keep telling yourself that, ladies. The boy is mine. Oh my god, I can't do this. They're not listening to a word I say. Then again, I guess this does technically answer my question. You're a real ladies, man, eh? Cinderella was sitting in a chair, smirking at the unfolding carnage. Next to him sat Snow White, reading a book and occasionally glancing over at us. Snow White is such a mood. Both were clearly enjoying the spectacle. Ah, yeah, I know you are, Snow White. Then again, I guess anyone would break up the popcorn in a situation like this. Not much they can really do to rescue him from four ex-girlfriends and one current girlfriend. Meanwhile, Kaguya stood wordlessly in the center of the crowd. More accurately, his lips were pursed together in a silent smile. Now, now, everyone, let's all settle down. Being Kaguya's actual girlfriend afforded me a certain level of confidence. But apparently this confidence struck a nerve with the exes because they turned and fired a fusillade of verbal attacks in my direction? Is that how you say that? Fusillade? You stay out of this! You're the slut who stole Kaguya from me! Oh, uh you think you're above it all, little Miss Goody Tissues? Who even are you? And how do you know him? You monster! How could you? As you can see, they really let me have it. My name is Yurika Arisa, and I'm Kaguya's current girlfriend. Nevertheless, I remained calm and composed, hoping to keep things civil. Unfortunately, this seemed to have the opposite effect. I tried to ignore them as best I could, but they all saw me as the thief who stole their boyfriend by manipulating and seducing him. 
Closing my eyes, I took a deep breath and... How will you conduct yourself in front of these women? By being better than them. Everyone hear me out! Unprompted Kaguya suddenly shouted over the noise. Thank you. This startled not only me, but everyone in the room, including Cinderella and Snow White. After all, he was normally the quiet type who hardly ever raised his voice. The room fell silent. Then Kaguya spoke again, more quietly, but still firmly and audibly. I'm sorry, but Puppet, uh, Yurika, is my girlfriend. Oh, Kaguya! I was overcome with the desire to hug him on the spot, but I knew doing so would result in an ass-kicking. So, I followed the social code and balled my hands into fists to brace myself against it. Monster! You monster! <laughs> Their anger seemed to evaporate, and instead they burst into tears. Now I was starting to feel bad for them. Oh, I'm really sorry. Kaguya reached out to one of the crying girls and stroked her hair. Uh, excuse me? Why are you doing that? Ahem. <clears throat> Clearing my throat, I decided to move this conversation along. All right, ladies. Since not all of us are on the same page, allow me to explain. This man, Kaguya, has amnesia. At this, the women burst into an uproar. You're joking. How? Oh. Kaguya! But we were in love! Come on! It's me! Don't you recognize me? <laughs> you don't remember me, Kagi Pie? They closed in on him, screaming and grabbing at him. From the looks of things, only the woman who dumped him at the cafe seemed to know about his amnesia. Oh... Surrounded by his exes, Kaguya was still wearing his usual smile, but his complexion was growing paler and paler by the second. Excuse us real quick. I pulled Kaguya away from them and sat him down with Cinderella and Snow White. Where are you going with him? Given the direction things are going, I've decided to let Kaguya sit this out. I thought they'd play nice in front of the other guys, but who am I kidding? Girls these days are aggressive. Me included. You don't get to decide anything! They stormed over to me without even a glance at the men. In response, I positioned myself in front of Kaguya and held both arms out like a point guard. Move! I'm here to talk to him, not you! I get where you're coming from, but I'm not going anywhere. Why not? Yeesh! As an aside, Cinderella was currently extremely uncomfortable in the middle of this cat fight. <sighs> I was outnumbered, but before things could get any worse, I was rescued by the great and merciful Snow White. <gasps> That's my boy. Shut up. He spoke only two words, yet his icy gaze froze everyone in its wake. Then, after a moment of silence, he spoke again. What do you people want from Kaguya? Is he your toy? Your property? The women recoiled. All except for the one I thought was the most level-headed, as irony would have it. Yeah, that's right. Kagi Pie is my property. He does whatever I tell him to. Same for me. And me. Each of them insisted that they owned Kagia. Pursing my lips, I balled my hands into fists once more. Let me at him. Ooh. Haven't seen this look much for Snow White. Interesting. Do you have any proof of ownership? Proof? Yeah. Anything that proves he's yours. Snow White crossed his legs, rested his elbow on the table, and stared down at Kaguya with distant, somber eyes. He has amnesia, remember? So if you have any proof, bring it here and show it to him. Maybe then he'll remember. But I don't... Have any? Well, I do. I've got plenty of keepsakes from our time together. Well then, as soon as you find them, bring them here. I'll give you... 
Oh, a week or so. What? There's a deadline? Of course there is. I mean, if you have the proof, then I'm sure you could bring it as early as tomorrow, right? Oh, I just realized what this is. I just realized what this is. It's me and the four other girls, which is the five suitors of Kaguya Hime. But instead of Kaguya giving us a bunch of ta impossible tasks, we had to bring a keepsake <laughs> to prove that we own him. <laughs> Brilliant, Snow White. Brilliant. For once, Snow White was actually smiling. Smirking, even. Gah! To make it worth your trouble, I'll even give you an incentive. If you bring us your proof, your keepsakes or whatever, and it successfully jogs Kaguya's memory, then we'll consider you his real girlfriend. That's a good plan. That way there's no hard feelings. Right. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> and so the four of them determined that this was, in fact, a good idea. You're all fine with that, right? After all, the whole reason you gathered them here was to try to get Kaguya's memories back, right? It was hard to argue with that statement.